video we're going to be working on assembling the X and the Y axis. Here I'm checking the fit on the ball nut mount, the Y axis. As you can see here it's a little tight. So what I ended up doing was just taking some emery cloth and going or putting it in a vise and then kind of working my way around. Sanding it down ever so slightly until I got a nice snug fit. Here's the finished product. You can see it's a nice fit there. And you can see it's recessed from the front of the saddle here. And that is to allow for the flange on the ball nut so it will be flush. So I've got it test fitting. You can see the gap here. There's a, this is a little bit higher than the table and that's the way I wanted it. It should be about a millimeter. That's good. Over here you can see that we have uh, clearance where we notched out the table here. We've got clearance and also We've got about an eighth of an inch clearance here as well. And that allows us to go all the way in until it stops. Here is our line for our max travel that I drew on the table a few videos ago. And you can see we're going to be in line with that. So, uh, pretty satisfied so far. We'll get the table on there and we'll see uh, exactly if this height is exactly where it needs to be or if I need to do any kind of shimming. All right. Well, I'm out here in the shop and I'm test fitting everything. Um, and the way I have the ball screw mounted here, it's, you know, sticking out like this and it's touching right here this uh, the bottom of this is down a little bit uh, because this is where the trough is on the X table so what's what's going on is it's just hitting right here like right there maybe. just barely hitting I don't know if you can see up in there but it's just barely hitting right up in there on each side. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a grinder and I'm just going to grind a little trough all the way across just so that'll clear because we need to pick up about another inch and a half of travel on this way. Coming to, towards me is fine. It's just right there. Um, I've got the Y already connected. Uh, one thing else I want to show you here. Sorry for all that moving around. Alright, so I put a little piece of um, PVC plastic right here. It's a quarter inch thick. And the hole is a three quarter inch hole. And it goes right over my 2505. And it just, it's just going to be like a, a stop. Oops. You couldn't see that. Okay. All right, let's do this. All right. So you can see, it just stops right there. Just to keep, uh, instead of these bolt heads hitting the steel, it's just a little buffer there, that's all. And it'll just stay on there. It's not gonna come off. It can't get off, so. All right. Uh, you can see I notched all this out. And that turned out well um, and that gives me at the moment um, it appears that I'm I've got full travel all the way back as I did with stock which was eight and a half inches and then going towards the front I've got uh, this was our center line 
I don't know if you can see it anymore. It's gone. But right here was our center line. Let me get a tape measure. All right. So I've got this flush with the end of the table here. And uh, it looks like our center line is about right at the 11 inch mark. So if you had, uh, we can go this way from off of center to the end of the table 11 inches and this way and flip the ruler around it's eight and a half this way so when I put my spacer it'll be nine and a half and then a one inch spacer from that way it should give me about uh, one inch less about ten inches of travel so somewhere around in there um, once I relieve this on the bottom here once I make this notch here, then we'll be able to slide this all the way that way. And we can check the travel on that. So I'm going to go pull this off, take it and grind the bottom. Um, you've seen me grind, so I'm just going to use my 4-inch grinder and just grind that out. Alright, so now that we've got our Y-axis moving, it's time to check fit our X. Now, the X-axis ball nut mount uh, just mounts to the end like so I've got M6 here and M5 here and that's just so that I would have clearance um, the bottom is flush with the barrel here this barrel is 36 millimeters and this is just kind of flush all the way the mount just gonna mount straight down like that using two M6 screws and in order to install this I've, I'm going to just leave it loose just kind of snug it but kind of leave it just so I can kind of tweak it a little bit because you want the ball screw to be parallel so we're going to leave it a little loose so that we can kind of move it around a little bit if we need to. Now, originally I had thought that I was going to have issues with the table clearing this. As you see here in this video. But what I found out is with the give out, you can actually slide this in and lift it up about 10 millimeters or so and that will actually let you clear this right here so this doesn't need to be uh, machined down lower it can be flush with the flange here and it works out really well but you just get it started and as you can see we're hitting because of this tray here, it hits, but you can lift it up. If you grab it in the middle here, you can lift it up. And that will give you just enough space to get this over. And then once it's over it, it'll just drop down and uh, slide on. Now, again, I've got it loose on the ends here. And what I'll do is, I'll just mount my ends piece here. Kind of get the bolts in there. Find the orientation. Find the hole. One for one thing, there we go. What I'm going to do is, I'll get this snugged up and tightened down. And then that will orient the, the uh, ball screw. And then I'll slide the table back, 
tighten up those two bolts a little slide it back double check make sure it lines up and I'll keep doing that until I get it and then once I get it I'll tighten it completely down and then I'll mount the end and we should be pretty good uh, pretty good shape so I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that and get this all lined up okay so I've got it lined up here let me show you what I was looking for what I did was I just kept going back and forth and tightening and tensioning those uh, screws up until I got it to line up adjustment here and you can see it just slides right in and uh, so now I know that that's lined up now what I want to do is go to the other side and mount the bearing block and make sure that those screws and everything line up I want to make sure I slide the gib in temporarily. Okay, that hole looks lined up. All right. That hole's lined up. That one's good. All right, that one's good. So now that that's lined up, we'll just tighten everything down. And we know that our X axis is uh, in good shape. We'll have to come back and adjust the Gibbs and get those uh, just right but I'm not too concerned with it right now because I'll be taking this all apart to do uh, oil ways for the oiler all right so that is the x-axis let me put a nut on here if I don't this will Give me a, what feels like backlash. All right, and we can. You want to test test it? We can just stick a drill on here to get some movement. good feels good so now that's the uh, X now I want to check fit on the Z axis so thanks for watching the video please feel free to comment if you have any questions thumbs up if you like the video please subscribe and most importantly be safe